All right. I'm going to start off by saying I am not a guitar player, and I apologize for my poor playing skills. Hopefully, I won't annoy you too much as I'm trying to get some material in order to test this speaker that sounds realistic. Been a lot of comments. If you haven't watched the video on building a realistic sounding speaker, um, you might want to check that out. And it's basically a speaker that has four different speakers in it, each one recorded from a different mic. And I've got four mics here, one overhead, one left, one on my right, and one down below. And the speaker also has that, although the below speaker is kind of pointing to the back. Got a lot of comments that it's similar to a Bose 901 system or an Ohm or a um, various Omni speakers. Um, because there's speakers pointing in different directions, you know, the parallel of something you've seen before, people have seen before, is, hey, I saw something that doesn't point in the right direction. That must be similar. Um, this is not similar. That's pretty much the opposite. An omni speaker shoots the same sound in all directions. It's trying to be a point source that radiates a unified wave front that is identical in all directions. And that kind of follows this concept of creating these point sources, which a lot of sound systems are designed around. Unfortunately or fortunately, instruments are not point sources. So recreating them with a point source will never be natural. An instrument sounds different in every direction. The back of the guitar does not sound the same as the front of the guitar. There's more resonance behind, there's brighter strings. The sounds up here don't sound the same as the sounds down here. So there's different sounds radiating from different parts in different directions. This is not a point source. So building a speaker that acts like a point source that radiates the same sound in all directions is guaranteed not to sound like a real instrument. Also, there are planar speakers and speakers that radiate out of large surfaces, which sound wonderful. And some of these designs are absolutely beautiful sounding. They're just not realistic. And they radiate an in-polarity signal out front, an out-of-polarity signal behind, and there's some cancellation. But again, you have the same signal radiated in one or more directions. A conventional speaker radiates the sound in one direction. All the sound is pointed in one way, all the speakers are pointed one way, and then around back it's dead. They said, let's put the sound where the listener or audience is and no sound anywhere else. Again, that's wonderful for keeping sound off the walls and not having it go where you don't want it to and reducing reflections, but it's also not what a realistic instrument does. A real world instrument radiates sound in all those directions. So if you build a speaker that only radiates sound in one direction, it's going to lack one of the key aspects of sounding realistic. So this system, this design here, is an attempt to capture realistic sound. There's been other discussions about Dolby Atmos and surround sound. I get comments like, well, you know, why not just have, or um, hollow plot, where you have sound radiating from a certain surface around you, various surfaces, various areas around, and shooting inward. And these are very useful and effective for creating an environment, to helping the listener be transported to somewhere else, to sound like you're in a cathedral, to sound like you're in a club, to sound like you are in a field, or to sound like you're in some impossible space where the snare drum's in the bathroom and the kick drum's in a, in a very dead room and the guitar is in the Grand Canyon, or with echoes that are clear and pre precise. All these unrealistic or realistic things are wonderful, whether or not they're copying real worlds, but they're creating an environment and then putting that environment into the listening environment that the your living room or wherever you are. That is not what I'm trying to do here. I'm not trying to create an environment and make it sound like you're somewhere else. I want it to sound like Neil Young has come and sat down in your living room and is playing guitar for you. 
I want it to sound like there's a harp player sitting there playing harp in the corner of your living room. Or there's a stand-up bass or a three-piece jazz trio that's come to visit and is playing in a restaurant. That is what this design is about. Capturing a real instrument in a realistic way and re-radiating it in a different space such that it sounds like it's actually there. Now, I have not done a lot of testing and tuning and precise precision measurements of phase alignment. I have made this very simple. I'm just playing guitar. Or before, in the other video, Madeline played guitar. I put mics around the instrument in the approximate positions that the speakers will play them back. And each mic goes to a track in the recorder which then comes out of the recorder at some later period in time into an amplifier, out of the amplifier into a speaker. No EQ, no processing, nothing. Just capture and reproduce. Now we can put EQ on there and we can alter it in any way we wish, but I'm focusing on the simple grab it and repeat it. Another thing that's come up a lot in comments is, well, this isn't going to work with existing stereo recordings, or how would you do a 60-piece orchestra? You would need a million of these. Again, overcomplication. I'm trying to make something sound real. If I could get a single violin into your living room, that's amazing. And I'm not selling this. I'm not promoting it. I'm sharing what I've perceived, understood, and figured out. Can it reproduce stereo? Sure, there's four speakers in it. You could run left to one speaker and right to another, and you've got stereo. You could run just one speaker and have two of these, and one speaker on the other side and have stereo, or double stereo, or run one sound to all four speakers on, on the left side, and then have another one and run one sound to all four speakers on the right. This thing could be dumbed down. This is a four channel, four amplifier, four speaker device. Yes, it could be dumbed down to stereo. It could be dumbed down to mono. And also, it has the ability to more realistically recreate an instrument, the way an instrument naturally creates sound then speakers that radiate the same sound in multiple directions or radiate sound in one direction. All right, so uh, also one of the tuning pegs is broken here, so I'm pretty close, I hope. So let's go ahead and um, strum along and see what we get. I guess what I'll do is I'm going to strum near various mics. I've got some various test plans, so I'll play it through the speaker, and then I've got some cool speakers. I've got some old Rogers a Heil Air Motion Transformer, some really cool Audix studio monitors. Um, so I'll try these out um, so we can kind of see what this sounds like in various formats and various reproduction methods. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, a few things about what you just heard. There is no EQ and no processing on anything. It is just the microphone straight to the speakers. And what you see is what you hear. So now that you've heard it versus all the different speakers, and as I walked around, you can derive your own opinion on whether this thing creates a more realistic sound than a conventional speaker or not. I recommend listening to it on different things. Try headphones, try your cell phone, or try it through some stereo speakers and see what it sounds like. Keep in mind, this is being transported via stereo to you, and so it's being dumbed down a bit. If there's enough interest in this, I could post this in 5.1 and post all four tracks independently and um, give you something to mess with. And also, if um, anyone's interested in this, maybe I could set something up where you send me a recording of yourself and I'll write up a little spec of how to record yourself and then play it back to the speaker and you can see what it sounds like. Or we can start a little archive repository for recordings that sound realistic. Uh, maybe someone else wants to build a speaker like this and um, play music back through that. And yeah, depending on how many people like this and are interested in it, maybe I'll build some more and get a little four piece band going and um, see how that works. Cool. And thank you for joining and thank you for all the comments and um, yeah, something to do and try something new. I've always been curious as to why when I walk down the street, I know there's a garage band playing in somebody's house or garage a block away. And I know before I open the door to a bar or restaurant that there's somebody live playing in there and walking through trade show floors I play a game where I try and guess, is that a demo of a speaker or is somebody actually playing real guitar, a real instrument, a real drum set? What is it about live instruments that make it so easy to tell? And what is so wrong with reproduction where it can't fool us? And this hopefully will open a little crack in that door and get us a little farther. I believe that this is one of the fundamental keys to sonic realism, and that is reproducing different sounds in differing directions so that when they reflect off various surfaces, speaker number one reflects here differently than two, than three, than four, and you have four different reflections coming off of every surface versus a single speaker or a single source that has the identical sound reflecting off of every surface and recombining in the most comb filtery ways possible because you only have one signal radiating from that source. With multiple signals that are different, the more different they are, the less comb filtering you get and the more complex those re reflections are. All right. Fun stuff.